With his artwork selling for millions and a major retrospective of his work about to open at the Whitney, artist Jeff Koons is having a very good year. Here to tell us more about the mega art star is WSJ reporter Ellen Gammerman. Ellen, thank you so much for being here. So is there a bigger living artist at this moment than Jeff Koons? He is everywhere right now. The Whitney exhibit is going to be the largest single artist exhibit in the museum's history. But it's not just that. He's got a huge topiary going up at Rockefeller Center. He is wrapping the New York's flagship H&M store in one of his balloon dogs. And he, just for good measure, appeared naked in Vanity Fair. So he's really, he's out there. Now. It's incredible. And his art is just going for record prices. Can you give us an idea of the numbers? Yeah. Uh, well, he's the most expensive living artist at auction right now and he got there last year with a more than 58 million dollar sale of one of his uh, balloon dogs and right now this year the average lot price at auction is about 2.4 million for a coon's work incredible now do you think his past as a wall street commodities broker has anything to do with how savvy he is as a businessman about his art well People who work with him and know him all talk about how smart he is. And so he's smart about his art and he's smart about the business of his art. Mm -hmm. And um, he, he runs basically a factory of 130 employees. So those are the people who are help, helping crank out a lot of uh, the different art that he, mediums that he produces in. And he runs that factory with incredible secrecy, correct? Yeah, the staff sign non-disclosure agreements and he doesn't like to get too much into how all of this stuff is made. He wants when you look at it to you to feel like it just kind of was this effortless creation when in fact huge man hours and high technology went into it. And those that admire his work say that his production standards are just unparalleled. Right. Is that, he's, is that he's, very, he's known to be very, very exacting. He, he'll, he'll work with um, experts from MIT yeah. or um, Bavarian wood carvers. Right. You know, all, he runs the gamut in terms of knowing exactly what talent to find and, and working with them. And yet his critics have pointed to his work as being a little kitschy and maybe not so serious. I have to say, though, I, pa I pass by the topiary in Rockefeller Center every day on my way to work. I've been seeing it go up. And there's something about that giant chia pet covered with flowers that just makes me smile every morning. He ha he is a happy artist, yeah. which is sort of unusual. Yeah, and I think, I think he's hoping that you feel that way yeah. when you look at his work. He's trying to tap into that joy of being a child in, in some respects. And he himself has an incredible memory for his own childhood. He says he remembers being in his crib. Right. So there's that childlike <laughs> playfulness, but there's also weightier themes in there and art history and all kinds of uh, pop culture references. As we will certainly see in the retrospective coming up at the Whitney. Ellen, thank you so much for that.